We'll begin by taking our hips to our heels for an active child's pose. Pressing through the palms of the hand on the earth or mat. Knees can be touching or as wide as the mat. Forehead rest on a block or on the earth. Five breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale all the air out of the body. See if you can make your inhales and exhales equal length. Breathing into your low back. Imagine you could widen your low back with your breath. Coming to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees over hips, firming the abs up and in, broadening across the chest on an inhale. Exhale, drop the head and round the back, pulling the navel toward the ceiling, feet flat on the ground for cat. Continue cycling through your breath, feeling movement in the body if you wish. Inhaling deeply, exhaling all the air out of the body. Your next exhale. Curl the toes under and send your hips back as you slowly straighten your legs for downward facing dog. Spiral the biceps to the outsides of the room and pedal through the legs here as you warm them up. Inhale for three, Exhale for three. Continue pedaling through the legs. On an exhale, walk your feet to the front of the mat to meet your hands. Fold forward, letting go. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins if it's comfortable. Exhale, fold forward. Continue to half lift and fold forward, cycling with your breath. Slowly come to stand by rolling up one vertebra at a time, the head being the last thing to come up. You can stay here at the front of the mat. I'll turn to face you so you can see the next poses. Standing in mountain pose, feet hip width apart and parallel, spread the toes, pressing down through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, draw the hands up. Exhale, let them go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, keep the arms active and feel as if you're pressing through honey. You want them active and engaged, feeling as you draw them down towards your body. Inhale, arms up, interlace the fingers above the head, index fingers pressing toward one another, abs in as tight as you can, keeping the hips level. Side bend to the right, feeling a nice stretch in the side body. Inhale to the midline and switch sides to the left, keeping the abs tight. You can look up or down here, whatever is comfortable for you. Inhale, arms up, exhale, release. Feet remain parallel, either hip width apart or walk the feet in to have the big toes touching. Inhale, arms up, 
Exhale, deeply bend the knees, engaging the thighs and the abs, tucking the tailbone as if you're sitting on an imaginary chair. I'll turn to the side here so you're able to get a better idea of the pose position. Making sure to draw the shoulders down the spine so they're not hunched over next to your ears. Flat back by tucking the tailbone under pelvic tilt as much as you can. If the arms up is too much, you can always bring them to the thighs or the hips. Don't forget to breathe. For a more broadened chest stretch, you can also bring the arms up like a cactus and feel the upper back engaging. Inhale, palms touch in front of sternum. Exhale, twist to the right with the upper body as you place your elbow on your knee. The twist initiates from the navel, not the hips. Look down to make sure both knees are in alignment. Exhale, come to center and fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Grab the opposite elbow with the opposite hand and sway side to side. Weight of the body in the heels. Inhale, coming back to chair. Thighs engaged toward one another, tailbone tucked in, abs in, arms up or at the hips, flat back. Inhale, palms touch, bringing them to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right, placing the elbow on the outer leg. Make sure the twist is occurring at the navel and not the back or hips. Knees in alignment with one another. Exhale to release and fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Cycle through the breath. Exhale, grab opposite elbows and sway side to side, releasing. Planting the palms in the mat in front of you, step back to plank pose. Elbows close to the body, abs in, lowering for chaturanga. Sending the heart forward, coming in to cobra. Your tips in line with shoulders, legs super engaged, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, looking forward, sending the heart forward, Lift your hands off the mat to make sure that you're engaging the correct muscles. If you stay up when your hands are lifted, that means you're doing it right. Exhale, curl the toes under, pressing back into downward facing dog. Hover in plank, come down to chaturanga back to Cobra. Exhale, curl the toes under, pressing back into downward facing dog for one more cycle.
Release as you press back the sits bones to the heels for child's pose, pressing the palms into the mat and releasing the head. You can press the body back with the palms to feel a nice stretch in the low back and hips. Walk the hands to the left of the mat, pressing into the earth, feeling a stretch on the side body. Breathe deeply, inhaling to the belly and exhaling all of the air out of the lungs. Inhale, gently walk the hands to the opposite side of the mat pressing your palms into the earth. Walk the hands to the middle of the mat and gently come to a sitting position with the soles of your feet pressing into the earth. Firm your navel back into your spine, bringing the arms parallel to the mat, fingers spread wide. Begin to send your torso back in space and gently lift the feet. You can stay here or for advancement, go back even farther and continue lifting the legs higher. The goal is to get them parallel with the mat and to lean all the way back and come all the way up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Boat pose. Squeeze your seat and inner thighs together. Draw taller through the crown of the head, pulling your abs down and back. Plant the soles of the feet back on the mat as you gently roll down to a lying position. Release the arms, palms toward the sky, release the legs, lying here in Shavasana. Breathe deeply into the belly and exhale all of the air out of the lungs. Begin to come up by bending the knees and turning to one side, pressing your palm into the mat as you come up to a seated position. Palms together overhead, following the line from crown of head to heart. Thank you for watching. Namaste.